right, this is our second AMA. Yes? Yeah, how that's sad. That's the easy answer really is that we've only done one. I was yes. going to say, how sad. Oh, look at Hook. Hook, you can't see him right now, but Hook's over there. Hook's over there. And our friends are leaving us. Bye, friends. Bye, Bye friends. Hook for us. <laughs> Hook's more what, popular than us. We got one friend left. We think Hook is cool. Well, yeah, he's got such like pirate swagger as he walks through the park. It's he great. pretended to break my camera once. Really? Yeah, he didn't like that I was filming him. Hey, remember when uh, Jedediah and Willem were like, oh, "Look, yeah. I can see myself. I like it." <laughs> well, uh, cool things around us, notwithstanding, Roman, we are here to answer the questions of Fresh Baked fans. Fresh Baked questions. I hope we have some good ones. I've got... I told you guys to send us good ones. Oh, don't, don't nudge the table. Don't nudge okay. the table. Uh, we do have quite a few questions that we're going to answer for you guys today. Let's answer uh, some and questions. You know what? We're just not going to mess around. We're going to get right into that because I don't, go, yeah. I'm not feeling particularly clever. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. Let's just answer questions. Okay. Um, let's just... Okay, yeah. Let's get started. Uh, <laughs> question number one is coming from uh, a very good friend of ours, a very good friend of Fresh Bake, Thomas McKendry. Oh, Fraggle Stick! Is that Fraggle Stick? Yeah, Fraggle Stick. Fraggle Stick car. Oh, look, they're there. Okay, we're back. Are those ladies cute? They were so cute. <laughs> oh, my today. goodness. <laughs> sweet, sweet ladies right now. That's cool. They found us. Uh, okay, so. Let's so, get... Fraggle Stick's got a question. Thomas McKendry, he says, can you, or he asks, can you talk us through the making of the FBD intro <laughs> tune, Fresh Baked Disney intro tune? Uh, yeah, but it's very easy to do, actually, Thomas, because uh, I... It's free. It's I didn't make it, uh, we, or we didn't make it. It's, thank you, Internet. Uh, thank you, Internet, to uh, public domain music. And right, and thank you um, for people who want to share what they make because yeah. because of you, we have a song and we yeah. love it. And it's it's by a gentleman named I believe I'm going off memory. I think his name is Kevin O'Connell. Uh, it's from Incompetech.com, and they 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 make free music and they put it online. And I love it. And I don't ever want another song. Yeah, I know. I I can't. Yeah, you're right. Like, I thought about changing it once about six months ago. Oh, God. Oh, I'm God. glad you didn't even run that by me, because I would have just laughed at you. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Internet. That was uh, for you, Thomas. Okay, well, we'll keep it technical for now, because this is a nice follow-up. Michael White would like to know, how long does it take to cut and edit a, a Disney trip? Romy, how long does it take to cut and edit? <laughs> okay. My answer is... <laughs> David does so much work for Fresh Baked, you guys. You don't even understand how much work he does. Um, and I know for a fact he's gotten faster because I've watched his progress over the last couple of years. So compared to the beginning to now, he's way quicker. It used to take a week. Uh, uh, but now I think, uh, well, we get about, I shoot about three hours worth of stuff total throughout the day. Uh, that gets cut down to about two hours. And those two hours, uh, to actually edit into a presentable format takes about takes about 12 hours uh, of actual time. Yeah. Now some of that is all in a row. <laughs> and he's got a real actual life like full time job, y'all. I know, right? Well, that's going to be a unlike that's a me. Yeah. Like that. well, all right. There you uh, go. Yeah. So all all together, you know, added up all together, it's about 12 hours, and then there's probably another two or three hours of. Uploading and, and, and rendering, and rendering, and, and, and all, the rendering. Processing. Actually, the rendering. We, I do overnight. I can't even. Oh, there you go. S I can't see? even do that. You see, he's like picking live. up ways how to get it done. So quicker. yeah. Yep. Oh! A leaf just came at me. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I'll punch a leaf. That's what I get for making faces at the camera. I mean. Okay. I like this question. This is a good one. I don't know if you have any opinions on this, but McKay Christensen wants to know, what is your view on some of Disney's more controversial material? Mainly like the classic cartoons and some of the stereotypes and racist sort of, you know, you know, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's rad. It's a word, yeah, we're totally in favor of Put stereotypes it this way. and racism. I'm one of those people that's like, hey, controversy sells, so. Right. Uh, well, obviously we're not, we don't support that. No. But I think it's unfair to judge somebody from something that happened 80 years ago. I think it's unfair because I'm going to get a little political right now, but, you know, we had to abolish slavery at one point yeah. and people would have... <sighs> right. But so now look at us. And, we've all evolved you know, yeah. as Disney. <laughs> right. And so. the same way that we're evolving with gay marriages yeah. and all kinds of stuff today, it just happens, people. Yeah. Move on. Let's yeah. Yeah. let's keep being happy. So I, I try not to I try not to I try not to I don't care. judge somebody based on today's morals. My my opinion is I don't care. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I still love Disneyland and I'm still gonna give them all my money. That's right. And then some. Okay. It's totally raining. <laughs> Hi. All right, y'all, it's raining. <laughs> It's raining. <laughs> the and one day, the luckily, one day. I totally came prepared with my Disneyland umbrella, so we're whereas good. I did, whereas I did not come prepared. We're because good, Because everybody's in Southern California. Right. My goodness, what the heck is this all about? All right, let's get this going. Hey, Moving hey, on. hey, 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 you're Moving ruining on. the shot, Lee. <laughs> Jason Awesome has, a, has an interesting question. You're Jason. A, you know Jason, right? I love you, Jason. Jason you is, are awesome. Uh, he's kind of like a, he's like a ninja a little bit. Dude, he is one of the coolest little kids, besides the Disney ninja himself. No, but I mean like an actual, he, yeah, he just no, kind of shows up, you're standing there, biting yeah, your Yeah, total ninja. <laughs> yeah, no, up here, yeah. He should be a ninja when he we goes We love up. you, Jason. Uh, Jason wants to know, when was the first Disneyland Report video published? This is before Fresh Bake. Uh, I'm gonna say May of 2012. Yeah, May of 2012. Uh, yeah, I would think so. And uh, follow up. Do you still have those videos? I still have them. Yes. Aren't they still on the internet? They are not on the internet anymore. No. Okay, good. <laughs> I have the video. The one, the one that I did release was. Uh, the uh, Cars, Cars Land. Land one. Yeah, Cars uh, Land. The other video is just me walking around saying nothing. You guys don't want to see that. Um, I don't say anything, and if I did, you couldn't hear me anyway. You don't. And, and, and the camera's all shaky, and I don't know, it sucks. So It's not fresh baked. It's not fresh baked, no. Hannah Engelman wants to know, Romy, if you guys could take home one ride vehicle from a ride of your choice in DCA or Disneyland, which one would it be? Oh, like to ride it? To man. Actually, to like, Casey! Oh my, oh my god. We gotta finish this question. Now, do Dude, you mean, that's a rad question. Like, so I, I think, I, I wanna say like, that we could drive around or to just put it in your backyard. I don't have a backyard, so I can't. Just, the, uh, just an attraction, not like a Main Street vehicle. No, I, any, any vehicle. It says, one ride vehicle from a ride. Well, I don't know, there's rides, attractions, Disneyland kind of... What? Monorail! I want the monorail. Like the I want to travel everywhere in the monorail. Okay. Uh, I would like the omnibus. I think. I wanna, we I we only want like the two most obnoxious things. I, I want to. I want to. I want to commute to work in, my, in an omnibus. Yeah, me too. I want to travel everywhere in the monorail. Just make new tracks for me wherever I need to go. And I want the guy, the old dude that does the. Hey, Mr. Mr. Voice. Hey, Mr. Voice. What land are we in? We are now entering Tomorrowland. Or Orange. Yeah. <laughs> or Buena Park. BFE. Whatever. Wherever we're going. I wanted to announce it for me too. Amy Johns, Romy. Well, she says, Amy Johns says. Hi, Amy. So, Romy, how do you and Willem know each other? He is so hilarious. Um, how do you know Willem, Romy? Because I'm a very friendly person and I make friends with everyone that I yeah. meet. And Willem and I connected on that level and Willem. now we're like BFFs. Yeah. Willem! <laughs> yeah, so um, <clears throat> he's not the only cast member that you. I'm actually that that with. You guys just see me interacting with him. I was just hanging out with Derek for two hours. He's right over there, Derek for two hours. Um, yeah, he, oh, that's one of my more. favorite cast members. <laughs> um, Summer out there. What's up, Summer? I, I make friends with all the cast yeah. members. She's very friendly, you guys. You have no idea. Yeah, yeah. She's very friendly. I mean, like, really friendly. And some people take it as, like, I'm flirting with everyone, but I'm not. I'm just friendly. I She's swear. just nice. <laughs> She's a nice girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's one from Robert Holtz. You know Robert Holtz, right? Yeah, of course. This guy, <laughs> he's the nicest dude in the whole wide world. He is. Though. He's so sweet. Yeah. Great supporter. Yeah, very good. Very, very healthy support for yes. Fresh Big. Oops. Let me find his actual question. <laughs> well, I think we kind of did that one, but uh, Robert wanted to know, uh, what are the top three Disneyland or DCA attractions that are now gone or radically changed that you'd wish upon a star to bring back again? Oh yeah, we did kind of answer this one because I told you guys that I feel like I'm still a little bit too young to properly answer that question. There's not enough that's been taken from me. So Right. So uh, I would say I think the easy ones are uh, the people mover. Um, I go with what he says. Yeah, wait. Where are we at? Yeah, attractions. People mover. People mover. Um, the sky. Oh, the skyway, yeah, skyway. for sure. 
And let's see, what else has radically changed? What was over here? Wasn't there something over here? Well, that's the Skyway. Oh, okay. We're actually right next to, we're in, this is the village house where we're at, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, that's the double behind us. Yeah, I'm trying but, not to cover it. But it's okay. Uh, nothing else has really changed a lot, actually. Uh, no. I want teacups where they used to be. I'm just kidding. I don't really have. Yeah, I don't, I'm just kidding. I have no answer. Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry. Everything else we like. Okay. Uh, okay, so Robert also wants to know, what, if any, current attractions would you like to see gone? So much so that you'd like to ride a Miley Cyrus wrecking ball into it. Well, I would never do that. Uh, I would. So, just like she did in the video, yeah, too. I would. Uh, um, actually, I would like to do it to a whole land. Is that possible? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, exactly. You know what? If you're going to go, you're going to go big or go home. So you got to take out a whole land. And I can't. We've had a conversation like this before. I can't pick one just yet. She's if, not there yet. If I we am. wanted to, uh, Toontown, is that what we... No, actually, on? I'm okay with Toontown in terms of it staying. I just don't like it, but I don't want to take a wrecking ball to it. All right. But I would, if they promised me Star Wars Land, it's gone. It's gone. Uh, but really, the Hollywood backlot is the one that um, I... Okay, put it this way. My answer is only until you have a good enough thing to replace right. it yeah. will I have an answer of what I want to get rid of. I would take a dirt pile over the Hollywood backlot. <laughs> he hates the backlot. I don't hate it. He hates it. I don't like it. I don't hate it. It's so ugly. <laughs> it kind of used to be cooler in my opinion. But yeah, before they started putting all that... Oh, uh, whatever. I like the parties. The Mad Tea Party. Right. Like Sonica. I enjoy those. They just ruined the whole atmosphere of the entire land. They kind of did. Yeah, Sorry, it's guys. Not, it's, it just doesn't work Sorry. yet. Did it stop uh, raining yet? No, it started again. It did stop and it started again. Darn it. Okay, so, oh, he's got another. He's, Robert has more questions. More for questions, us. Robert. Robert says that Fresh Baked Disney has come a long way already, but like this. Fresh Baked? We're just getting Hi. started. <laughs> he said, Yay. We're, <laughs> he said, we're just getting started. He wants to know what's next for Fresh Baked. I have no idea. Uh, this video is Well, next. Pinky, the same thing we do every day. Try to take over the world. That's right. We're just going to take over the world. Uh, one video at a time. Uh, yeah, so I don't. we don't really have a, a big plan. There's no master plan. or. Put it this way. Anytime you guys suggest something outrageously out of our budget, okay, sure. Yeah. Well, That's our goal. What's that? But yeah, Disney get World, us there, Disney guys. Paris, Hong you, Kong. Yeah, you guys got to help us get us there a yeah. little bit because we can't get there without you. So. Hey, they said we should do a Kickstarter. I don't know. <laughs> Right, so you want us to go to Are Paris? Are you sure you want to, because that's going to take like six people. Right, you want us to go, people tell us to go to the Walt Disney World? Okay, we will go and we will cover it for you. Just yeah. get us there. <laughs> uh, so, but he does ask then, what unfulfilled dream besides that, let's say, do you have for Fresh Baked? And uh, <laughs> now, now, not, no. I was going to say, I have an answer, but that's for me. <laughs> yeah, not, you know, out, outside of Fresh Baked. Uh, no, what I really want to do, if, it, if it's not going to another park, is I want to do that uh, the virtual walkthrough. Yeah, I think, I, I I think, think that's, that's, that's a great idea I've, for us. That I've been in my mind, I've been kind of processing that for over a year, but it, it's so much work. It's going to take months and months and months to do. But I want to do like a. It's not a. It's not a commentary. It's not anybody talking. Or we just you are the camera and you're kind of going through the park. Get your table, elbows off the table, young lady. Uh, <laughs> You get to pick, you choose your adventure, basically. Right. Uh, choose your adventure, and you, you come down Main Street, and then you can say, I want to go in this shop, that shop, I want to go to And we're going to take you there. we'll take you there. That's yeah, what I want to do. That's, that's next. Yeah, that's next. Oh, hey, hey Robert, Robert says, how can us muffins help you get there? That, I guess that answers, or that, that asks the question that you were... So, yeah, if you guys want to know how to get us there... <laughs> no, dude. Buy some t-shirts. <laughs> there you go. Buy Support some. us. There you go. That'll help. Good, good call, Roby. All right. Matt Allen wants to know, what is the best place to watch a Main Street Parade? I have a definite opinion on this. What? You want me to go first? Yeah. My favorite spot is at uh, Town Square, right where they put the Christmas tree. Oh, no, I'm totally opposite. Yeah. Well, okay, hold on. Uh, it's The, the parade's actually obviously going to be coming at you. Right. Uh, coming from Small World, at you, down Main Street. But I like it that... It, because the parade just comes right at you, it comes right at the camera, right. and then and it kind of peels off, and I kind of like the way that looks on camera. Uh, so that, that would be my pick. I would well, sit there right where the tree is. I get what you're saying, but I'm on the other side of Main Street. I want to be in front of the hub, facing where the Christmas tree and the pumpkin the Christmas are. Tree. Okay. Right. You want it to come at Because then you? it's going to come around the hub, and I'm going to see it come at me, and then I'm going to watch it go back down Main Street. It's kind of the same. 
Yeah, kind of the same. Yeah. We just have different spots of Mean Street. Alright. Uh, what about DCA? I don't watch parades at DCA. There's only one. You said parades. No, there's a couple. There's like the yeah, Phineas and Ferb, the Army, the Toy That's Story. The Pixar parade, is it? Yes. I don't watch the Pixar parade. I don't have a favorite place for that either. Actually, because they're all good There's seats. no, yeah, there's nowhere that there's not. There's enough spaces. You can get a seat anywhere you yeah. want. So. <laughs> Wherever you're watching it, whatever, that's where yeah, you can watch it. Yeah, whatever floats your boat on the DCA parade. I, I, again, but in general, I like to watch parades come around the corner. Yeah, I like um, to see them for more than just a second. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know. Um, find, a spot, find a spot where it comes around the corner. That's what I would suggest. Romy. Yes, Derrickson. Kelly, okay, I'm hoping I can say this right. Kelly Papenfuss. Oh, Kelly! Kelly! Papenfuss? Kelly! Is that right? Little Kelly, she pinned. Us. Oh, that Kelly. Yep. I remember her. And, and <laughs> She's a ninja, now. too, this girl. Yeah. <laughs> she ninja us. Total ninja, Kelly. <laughs> Total. She wants to know what your favorite Disney song is and why. Okay, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Zero to Hero from Hercules. That's wrong. You know what? That's wrong. That's I, the wrong answer. You guys are lucky that's all he said right now. Because <laughs> I was expecting worse. I don't like No, Hercules. you're such a hater, no, dude. No, but it's From not so much From zero to, to hero. I'm not a hater. The movie's not good. And neither <laughs> yes, is that song. it is. And yes, it is. The muses take those songs to a whole other level. Yeah, down to crap. You know what? Zero <laughs> to hero. That's my answer. Uh, I'm going to pick... Uh, Step in Time, is that the name of that song? <gasps> Step in Time. Oh, I was going to do it, but it was totally going to shake everything. I know, right? Uh, That's Mary a Poppins, great Step song. Oh, song. man. I dance to that every time I hear it. And when the parade goes, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, That's, That's my favorite one. Disney song. That's a good one. <laughs> or Let It Go from the Frozen. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Uh, Christy Beckwith has a commercial. Hi, right, Christy. A question for us. Uh, we have to answer this one. Oh, you do, because I can't do accents. You have to answer this in an English accent. Okay. All right. She's from somewhere in England. Oh, okay, cool. You know Christy. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is there any ride in any other, any other parks that you would like to see come to Disneyland? Christy, I'm not sure that I would say a certain ride would want to be coming over here, but I do love Prince Eric's castle with the big ship, and there's all kinds uh, of aerial statues, and the King Triton at, at Disney World, and I would love, love, love to see that come over here. And I kind of feel like my accent is horrible, so I'm going to stop on that it's right now. It's good enough. It's good enough. She um, feels like a, like a bee. Yeah, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I, dude, I love watching nice footage castle. of that castle. It looks yeah. so... Yeah. Like just brings the little kid out of they you, really and it looks that. big. It looks like it's large. Yeah, there's they had, like, they had plenty there's of room to land, play with. There's land, right? Yeah. Plenty of room to play with. I yeah. would love, love, love to see that come over yeah. here for sure. Uh, now, I, I kind of have. I don't like them sharing rides. Uh, I, I wish they didn't. I feel you. I mean, there are there are there are attractions that I, that I, I admire. Uh, like, like I I don't mind that they have a Dumbo. They have two. Oh, really? Right next to each other. Really? Yes. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's like they just minted it. And just, That's odd. You know what? One's not good enough. Right. We need two. That's a little bit odd. It's a little bit weird, yes. Yeah. And they both have fast pass. Hmm. All right. Anyway, uh, I, there, are, there, are, there are attractions that I admire in other parks. Um, the, the new one in Hong Kong, the, the, the Haunted Mansion thing that they have in Hong Kong. Oh. I, I like them, but I don't want them here. I, I think that yeah. each park should have its own. Yeah, I can understand that personality. You know, I think they stopped. Kind of Disneyland has stopped doing that because they, they were Space Mountain is borrowed from Walt, uh, Disney World. They they have Little Mermaid. We started that. Yep. Uh, Tower Terror. You know, their yep. attractions in Haunted Mansion obviously get shared. Pirates, those kind of things. But uh, they've stopped. I think they're going to stop doing that. I believe going forward. Yeah, because I seriously doubt we're going to get a mine train over here. No. No, I don't think so. Yeah. And so. for that matter, I think it's also good that, or better, if they were to, uh, I, I think that each ride should have its own personality and its own uniqueness. Yeah, its own, I agree. That I don't want any more uh, themed rides after movies either. I would rather, I'd rather the the movie, I mean the ride itself, be a, an original creation, always. All right. I, I know it, right? All right. Think of it. Think of the most popular attractions. Name any of the most popular attractions at Disneyland. Yeah. Just list them off in your head. When does yeah. it, when does it, 
what is a movie themed ride you because get on that list? Because pretty much I feel like Fantasyland is one of the only ones that has for sure Snow White, Pinocchio, Peter Pan. Are any Pan. of those your favorite? No. Now, what are your favorites? What are the most popular ones? Pirates, Haunted Mansion, Space Mountain. Mermaid and Mountain. Pirates. <laughs> right? Those are all original ideas. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Right? Yeah. Zane Howard wants to know, what are your guys' thoughts on the new Star Wars teaser trailer? Zane, I haven't seen it yet. Hold on. <laughs> it's totally awesome, dude. <laughs> Have you seen it yet? Oh my god, it's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I was... I'm, I'm terrified beyond description of how they could possibly mess this up. Please hold while this guy rolls this thing off behind us. Um, I watched it without my husband and I got in trouble for that. No, you did not. I did. We're going to talk about this more, by the way, but yeah. let me just say, yeah, did you like it? Yeah, of course. Did it look cool? Yeah, and I was laughing in his face. That's the only reason why I watched it without him, because he's got such a stick up somewhere about, same as you, I don't, don't mess with my Star Wars. Don't screw it up. Uh, 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 a little uh, uh, bit. Okay, I'm not looking for them to recreate a 1977 film. You know what? Film. I never didn't have faith, all right? I How didn't have not? They made the, because they made the I prequels. always have faith. How That's could you why. watch the fan? How could you watch the Doesn't matter. Menace? Doesn't matter. I never lose faith, and I didn't you give can't up. Watch. You Doesn't can't matter. watch episode one and not lose faith. Does it matter? Anyway. I had faith, and I watched it without him, and I thought it was great. And then he was all excited. <laughs> what is there? Look at the. the oh my. Oh I can't show you. There's a kid in a full, full body Olaf costume. Oh my god! It's the cutest thing in the whole wide world. Oh, and then there's like, oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh when I, gosh. when I, I was like, I held my breath when I started watching it, and mm -hmm. I watched it three times. Um, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. I loved it. We'll get into that more. We're gonna do a podcast Tuesday, hopefully. Okay. Uh, and then I'm also going to do yeah. an article on that as well, but uh, super excited for, this, for that. Uh, Lauren Troughton wants to know, what was in the hub before the partner statue? Flowers. Yeah, not, nothing. Really? Okay. Already? I think so. Uh, Jasmine Sunshine wants to know, That's outside of Disney, what are your other guilty pleasures, like television or something like that? Music, music, really loud music with great bass. And... Um, Uh, I, that's all I do, you guys. I, I'm either doing my own life, like school and work and whatnot, or fresh baked, or I'm listening to really loud music on really great speakers. Yeah, my uh, my guilty pleasure is doing nothing at all. Um, <laughs> or sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I my, my life's ambition is to is to not have to do anything. Cuddling with my dog. That's it. I, yep. And ignoring life. <laughs> I just want to veg. So yeah. whatever that means, movies, TV, but yeah, the usual stuff, video <laughs> games. Um, I would love to veg in front of a video game all day if I could. Jake? Well, okay, Jake. Um, I'm gonna get. Is oh, it... Jake H. Jake H. Yes. Jake, let us know how to spell your last or, or how no, to he pronounce it. it. I, I want to say yeah. Hayuten, but uh, hey, Hayuten, Hayuten, Hayuten. He wants to know what. Who is your favorite Disney character? Well, everyone should it's Ariel at this point. Yeah. But I, you're not gonna believe me, but my husband and I have discussed it, and Elsa has kind of inched her way into my life without me realizing how much that I love her. Yeah. No, straight up. I was curious. Do you want to build a snowman? I do. Oh, okay. And that might be why. Right. There's something about her. Dude, seriously, the let it go scene with the swagger. Oh, yeah. I think that's part of my crush. Remember, well, yeah. You and I, like, we're all... <laughs> we, saw... <laughs> we geeked out in the theater and we hit each other all. <laughs> when, that, when that song first happened, when we saw it for the first time in the theater, I'm like, that... That was amazing. Yeah, dude, that I really, amazing. okay, well, one, I have a crush on Adele Dazib, Adina Menzel. <laughs> Thanks, John Travolta. Yeah, I have a crush on her. I think she's so talented. She's so beautiful. She's great. Um, I I feel her coming out through Elsa, so that's part of my infatuation. And I just like what she stands for. I like that she's got problems, but she lets it go, and she's just going to be herself. And yep. we all got problems, so. I think it's, it's a great message. It's a, it's a coming out song. Yeah, dude, really. I, I didn't realize outside. how much Elsa has inched her way into my life, and I pick Elsa stuff a lot now, and my husband kind of pointed out, like, honey, you kind of got a thing for Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> Ariel and Elsa. Yeah, and I'm Mickey Mouse. That's my guy. He's yeah. the boss. Uh, it's the mouse. I, I'm a classic guy. It's our I pal. love everything classic, and Mickey's the dude. Mickey's yeah, that's the man. Our pal. 
Uh, okay, so, and he also wants to know, what is your favorite Disney movie from the past five years? I don't know why he's limiting us to five years, but okay. Uh, five years, his favorite Disney movie. I don't even know what came out in the last Guardians five years. Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Yeah, I think I might go with that. Guardians of the Galaxy was pretty dang awesome. I don't think anyone would have topped that. Even no. though, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, I can't think of any like animated films. If you're only giving us a five year gap, yeah. Rose, oh, what about Wreck-It Ralph? No. All right, we'll go, we'll go Guardians. Guardians. Uh, Jake has another question. Ooh. We're gonna get to all of Jake's. He says, uh, or he asks, if Bugs Land were to go, what would you like to go see there? Bugs Land were to go, what would I like to see there? If, now, not, you can't choose that it doesn't go. Pirate's Land! <sighs> she said Pirate's Land. I already told you I want something like this. Like, like, okay. No! Tortuga! But, how, you, no! It wouldn't work. A bigger New Orleans and more it's boom. over there. Then just m put more piratey stuff and more like, what's the word, interactive. More interactive? Yeah. Inter she wants interactive pirates, everybody. Okay, uh, you know, ever since they started teasing the uh, Monstropolis, my mind is sort of... Oh yeah, a lot of people want that. Which I is see that actually a lot on in Instagram. contrast to my previous opinions about them not theming stuff to, to movies, but the idea of Monstropolis is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit. I will take that because the Monsters Inc. ride is one of my absolute favorites that I don't ever go on enough. No, it's it's a it's a perfect And they did a great job at that and I can totally I it's, I would totally yeah, do it's that. It's the kind of world that I could I could see they they can make a whole land out. I agree. I could see that. And but then, by the way, it doesn't have to be what I don't want necessarily is like the rides where they they just retell the movie story. No. It did, and Monstropolis doesn't have to do that. They could just, it's just an area. Dude, what if you could like get attacked by the CDA or whatever? Is that or what that giant called? foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Child know? Detection Agency. Yeah, what if they like came and like hosed you down? That'd be great. What is it called? Uh, 25, uh, yeah, I can't. 40, what? 25, 19 or something. I don't something. remember the number. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, so last question from Jake. Uh, would you like to do fresh baked as a full-time job? Boy, would I ever! <laughs> oh my God! Can you please? <laughs> you mean I don't have to work and fresh bake could support my life? Oh my God, that would be awesome. Uh, I would like that more than anything, but uh, we're a long way from that. We're you guys. a long way from long that. Way. We're just we're just a humble you know humble servants to the Disney magic is all we are at this point. We're just yeah. At this point, we're still just doing it for you guys because we know you love it and we, we love doing it for we you. We need so. approximately twenty times more. <laughs> I'm not even underestimating. If we literally need, what, what do we have, 20,000 Do I want to be Jenna Marbles and Todrick Hall? Yeah. Why, yes, oh, I do want to be Jenna Marbles light. and Todrick Hall. I think it needs to be closer to 50, 50 We times. need to get like a million. We need a million subs, basically. We need like a million subs if you're going to be making a living off yeah, of it, and we're subs. not at a million. Nope, not even close. Yes, we want to make a living off of Fresh Bake. Like I said, help us get us there. Okay, we'll do two more, two more. Ruben Garcia wants to know if you had to live, had, what do you mean had? I would choose this. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. If you, I'm gonna correct that. If you could choose if to live in one live Disneyland, anywhere. Like, in one Disneyland universe, land universe, like in the park, which one would it be? I think we did this once, didn't we? Okay, I have kind of a, I don't know if it's valid. Do you remember that like apartment living Quarters that Walt Disney World was supposed to like create. No. No. You remember we talked about this? <clears throat> they were gonna make like a whole community, like a like where you could actually live. Where you could actually live on Walt Disney World property. Well, and that there, would be awesome. There yeah. would be like a shuttle to the parks, and like you would get like a designated yearly pass with your like um, mortgage or whatever, you know, yeah. like. Um, and you would have to have like sick Christmas decorations. I, like I can't. Oh. Yeah, well, no, but there was. A, that's not a, a not a apartment. So these are homes. These are million dollar homes. Homes, but was, was that an idea, like a projection? No, it was an actual. There is an actual place. It's in Florida it by exists. Walt Disney World. It's an actual. I forget the name of it, but they do have. They have services. Disney will decorate your home for you. That's where I want to live for for Christmas. They'll. they'll, they'll I want to live house. on a Walt Disney property home 
with a shuttle to Walt Disney World and Disney decorations. The only problem is that doesn't answer the man's question. That, that's why I said I don't know if it's valid, but no, that's my answer. It's invalid. All right, well, that's my invalid answer. Uh, I think if I remember correctly, we did this on a podcast, and I chose Tom Sawyer's Island or that yeah. that universe. Yeah. Uh, where I just, I kind of... Hello, Derek, with two R's. <laughs> That's the cast member. See, just see to that's it. my my best, yeah, my Derek BFF. Two hours. Uh, um, yeah, I want I want to I want to live on uh, like yeah, like on I want to live the the quiet life of doing nothing like Tom and Huck. Okay, well I want to live on New Orleans. Even Square. Even though I don't know how to fish, I don't I'll know live fish on New Orleans Square and I'll that wave I'll wave to you across the river and. You were going to be you were going to sell art on the streets. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or work in a bar I'm gonna sell my like art as a gypsy on the streets, yeah. and yeah. I'll read your I'll read your palms for money. And then I'll come and sell sugar and and, and maple syrup. And then I'll turn it into a spell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one, and we get this a lot, so I feel like we have, we we need to answer this from time to time. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. I, I, I don't know who asked this question. I think it's Teresa Sarcosmo, but uh, well, many other people have asked, but. What, or how did you guys come up with the idea to start doing this? Um, I answer this question to so many people. I, <laughs> I feel like I've got it down, like my whole spiel that I give them now. Would you like me to give my spiel? Give a serious spiel. Okay, uh, David and I have been buddies. We worked together and we would chit chat over our cubicle wall yeah. about everything and anything. Disneyland happened to be a common topic. One day we would talk about trip reports that we would see online and he would mention to me how terrible they were. <laughs> I would mention to him, well, I go to Disneyland all the time and he would tell me, well, maybe I'm gonna start going to Disneyland and maybe we should start doing trip reports. And I said, okay, cool guy, good idea. nobody was doing it, really. Right, and I rolled my eyes and was like, yeah, cool, let's do it, David, yeah, totally. Yeah. She's saying that, like, I had to drag her out here for a while, you guys. No, seriously, because I really have come to Disneyland my whole life, but I really, I, I thought he was nuts. <laughs> I'm one of those, like, cliche, uh, no confident girls. So, in my opinion, I'm like, why would anyone want to watch us? It doesn't matter. Disneyland. It doesn't matter if they. Apparently, the it didn't matter. The whole point is just to do it anyway. Right, and so we did it anyway, and then they loved oh, us. Oh, it's awesome! And we love you. And yeah, here we are now today. Because why would we stop doing that? Nope. Uh, well, that actually begs the next question. Teresa wants to know, uh, and heaven forbid, do you ever feel or not feel like going to Disneyland? Like. Because we go, every, I, well, I, I'm here every single weekend for the last almost two years straight. Okay. So. I worked 12 hours Thanksgiving, <laughs> eight hours Black Friday, eight hours yesterday. I got to bed at three o'clock this morning and I woke up at seven, so that's four hours of sleep. Still in the beater. Where am I? Uh, now, to be honest, there are days when I'm more excited than others. The only part that I that I ever feel like, oh god, I have to do this, is the actual the, cutting. I was gonna say it's the crowds that turns me off. Well, the crowds it could be a problem, but you know what? You, you change you, when that happens. I just change my my I'll, expectation. I'll look, oh, like, yeah. what is it? My my plan for the day. It may not be to ride a ride necessarily, but just to walk around and be here. Right. I'll, I'll change. You know, go from maybe eating something or seeing a show than than doing a ride. But yeah, the only thing I dread from time to time is the is. The hours and hours and hours of cutting video and uploading and it's kind of tedious um, uh, yeah I'll, I'll say the same with like the trick reports because yeah. I have to get home and transfer all my photos and then make a whole report for you guys and that's yeah and it's not even as easy as like hey I want to put this photo in here you can't even do that no no if did, the photo would be this big <laughs> it's a lot of work y'all enormous we do it for you Yep. All right. Well, that's um, that was it. That's it for our AMA tonight. Did you guys have fun? I did. Yay! All right. Uh, let's go back to the park. Let's go. I want to go on some rides. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.